Welcome to my unboxing of a pretty cool new notebook from MSI. So let's talk about the key features which are light slim aesthetic. So they're saying it's light. They're saying it's slim and they're saying it has a good aesthetic. That is actually an excellent three word summary. Okay, here we go. Your notebook content on your TV. Oh, it supports uh, wide eye, wide display. Okay, cool. A visibly smart experience powered by the second generation Intel Core processor family. Excellent. Up to eight hours of battery life. Performance that won't weigh you down. Weighs two kilograms and a one inch super slim design. Very cool. All right, let's go around to the side where it says absolutely nothing. Let's go around to the other side where it says exactly the same thing. And on the other side where it we have the box open, so let's show you guys the notebook in question here. So this is the X460X. Right here, this is a special one. This notebook is an engineering sample, not for selling. The software and application installed are for test and evaluation only. So this is definitely a testing and evaluation type of video. So I am authorized to use it. I have the power brick here. I have the power cord here. You can actually see in the packaging here where the manual and uh, instructions and discs and stuff will go, but that's not included with an engineering sample notebook. And next we have the battery, which is in its little padded pink anti-static bubble wrap. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess the first thing we'll show you is how to install the battery. So you go ahead, flip the notebook over, take the battery, Line it up, line up the thing with the thing, and then press the thing onto the other thing. There we go. Go ahead, close that up. And let's have a look at this notebook here. So first things first, let's take off the plastic. So we've got a nice brush, brushed finish on the top. I actually don't know what it's made of. Yep, that seems to be made of aluminum. It's nice and cold, it's definitely metal. So uh, can you see that okay? got like a shiny MSI logo on the top so that's like a more of a metal kind of finish I wonder how they've built that in is that a sticker or what no it looks to be looks to be worked right into the aluminum top very very slim very stylish okay so speaking of slim there is the thickness of the display itself so I'm going to go ahead and do the old iPhone comparison so you can see that's quite slick looking this uses a chiclet keyboard. It's got a little MSI padded thing. You'll probably want to hold on to that because it keeps the keyboard from imprinting itself on the screen above it when you close up the laptop. So let's go ahead, take off the rest of the plastic here. There we go. So the X460DX actually comes in a variety of different specs depending on the region. Because this is an engineering sample one, it is a little bit on the weaker side, so it has a weaker CPU. It's only got uh, 2 gigs of RAM, although I believe the retail SKUs will start at 4 gigs of RAM. This one only has a 500 gig drive, but uh, depending on your region, it could have different drive characteristics. It does feature USB 3, Bluetooth, True Studio Pro. Hmm, interesting, okay. Um, it has Turbo Plus battery, Turbo Battery Plus rather, so what they're saying is 8 hours of battery life. And it does have a 1366 by 768 so that is a 720p ready HD display. And that is an LED backlit display. Another thing that's cool about this particular notebook is that it does feature dedicated graphics. So it has a GT540 GPU. So here you can see the thickness compared to an iPhone 4. And let's work our way around the notebook and show all of the different things it has. So it has a Kensington lock, it has a uh, DVD drive, it has a USB port, an SD card reader, it has a microphone and a headphone port. Moving around to the front, we see not a whole lot other than some indicator lights. So for hard drive, Bluetooth, wireless, battery, uh, caps lock and number lock, all indicated on there. Moving around to the other side, we've got USB 3, two ports, gigabit ethernet, VGA, and HDMI. I'm actually still happy to see VGA worked into modern notebooks because for something like this, especially a more slick uh, business style notebook, having VGA is very handy because a lot of older projectors do not support HDMI. So that gives you an option to output when you're doing a business presentation when you're on the road. We've got a huge exhaust port here, so that's taking care of the cooling for the CPU as well as the GT540 GPU. And finally, we have a DC in port here to power the notebook. Let's go ahead and flip it over onto its back so you can see where all of the intake is coming in is right around here. And then that will be pulled across 
the motherboard and then out the back of the, oh rather, across the motherboard and then out the side of the notebook over here. So that's where you are bringing in all of your cooling. You can also upgrade any components inside the notebook that you should see fit simply by unscrewing this, 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 and that's it. Screws. You can take off this whole panel here. You can upgrade your RAM. I can actually see the RAM clips right there, which is something you'd want to do if you got a two gig model like this one. But like I said, none of the retail ones will actually be two gigs. So there's our power switch right up there at the top left. And let's have a look at the chiclet style keyboard and do some quick evaluation of that guy while it boots up. So I'm, oh, continuing system resume. I'm a big fan of, uh, any keyboard that feels very solid. This one's actually pretty good. Oh, continuous system resume. I think because I keep pressing buttons, it's getting confused. And I'm a big fan of any laptop keyboard that has appropriate spacing. So you can see right here, they have not cut the shift key short, which is, in my opinion, a cardinal sin. They have not moved this shift key over to the right. So you can see it's quite easily accessed. And the backspace key has also not been shortened. When it's been shortened, you gotta reach way over there in order to backspace. And if you make anywhere near as many mistakes as I do when I'm typing, that is not convenient. The enter key is also a full width enter key, which is very handy as well. Now let's have a look at the touchpad. So the touchpad has a bit of a texture to it. You can actually see it has kind of a concentric circle style design to the top of it. So that gives you a little bit of um, texture feedback when you're using it. Seems quite accurate, just based on my quick usage of it here. Although I will say that the circles cause your finger to be slightly redirected. Like if you're trying to move in a straight line across it here, it might cause it to curve a little bit like that. So you do have to be a little bit forceful when you're using it. But like I said, sensitivity, accuracy seem pretty good so far. This piece right here is your left as well as your right click. And it's kind of a chromed piece of what appears to be, yeah, I think that's plastic. The metal I'm feeling is just right here. Actually, I can't, I can't quite tell if that's made of metal or if it's not. It's cool to the touch, but it's um, hmm, interesting. No, I think that's plastic. I wonder if the top is plastic too then. No, the top couldn't be. Nope. Okay, so this piece is plastic though, which I actually prefer to an aluminum brush finish here because what tends to happen to aluminum when it's positioned here is when you type for a long time, um, the grease from your hands and your fingers will etch into the aluminum and will cause it to be worn away such that you can't, and it'll ruin the finish that, such that you can't even clean it, you can't even fix it. So there's the turbo battery button. And uh, what else do we have in terms of interesting buttons and features? Your speakers are located here in a bar at the uh, top of the notebook itself with a nice little chromed accent running through it. Looks quite nice. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say at this time. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the X460DX from MSI. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.